In this video, I want to show you how to convert text to columns. I'm on page 22 in your step-by-step -step guide. And you'll find the exercise file Home Buyer Workshop text to columns in, on your CD. So go ahead and open up that file. The first thing I want you to do whenever you're trying to convert text to column is to make sure you don't have any merge cells because that won't work. And in this case, we've got a merge cell here. So let's go ahead and go to the Home tab and unmerge by clicking the merge button and make sure that we're good here and we are. The next thing you want to do is decide what, which column are we going to convert. So here's a participant's name. We really want might want to do labels or email merge later on so it's important that this particular column be broken out. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this particular column to the right and we're going to insert and because we want to always make sure we give ourselves plenty of space with a text to column uh, function, we're going to just hit F4, get another column in there, because we definitely want to keep the email addresses. The next step is to select the column that you want to separate out. And this is it. Go to the Data tab, the Data Tools group, click Text to Column. Now, this dialog window comes up. First of all, it wants you to choose a delimiter, and that's something that's always separating out your fields. We have one. Let's go ahead and go next. In our case, it's the space. We have a space between the first and the last name in every case, so we're going to go with that. You know, I think the default is tab, and if you don't have a one of these selected, if you have maybe a hyphen, you can select other and put the hyphen right here in this box. But we're good with our space, and our preview looks good. So let's go next. We're going to keep the general tab and everything else looks good so we'll say finish. It wants to know do you want to replace the contents of the destination cells and I'm going to say yes. So there you go I have the first name and I'll go ahead and type in the way I want it to look. This will be my last name and I've got a column here just for good measure that I don't need I'll go ahead and delete. And we're good to go.